candles are a really nice way to add a mood to your home or um, a scent or a nice aroma. So we wanted to show you a way that you can make this sort of a more eco-friendly, uh, protect your indoor air quality and still enjoy the benefits of um, lighting a candle every once in a while. And what we're going to talk about today is actually making your own soy candle. So it's another uh, renewable wax. Here's an example of a finished soy candle that I've made. And this is what the soy wax will look like. And again, you can get this at your hobby store. Um, they'll often sell it in kits already made. So we've got a cup. We're measuring out a cup, and it's going to go down to half a cup of, of pourable wax for our project. And according to this particular type of soy wax, we need to get it up to about 155 Fahrenheit. And we'll just start that process right into the microwave. Really simple. And we'll just do um, a, you know, a minute on high. We're going to first grab our metal wick holder and you're going to see there's a little hole there you can put it through and you're going to tie a knot at the other end so that it doesn't pull through itself when you begin to pour just a really simple knot you don't need to use or waste a lot of wick and then you're going to pull it through so you're going to make sure um, just use something I've got the scissors handy here and I'm just going to carefully clamp down so you can see here it's about half of it's liquefied we'll just stir it up to get everything melted down. Put it in uh, for another minute. So back to our wick. Now we're going to measure how much we actually need. Give yourself enough room because we're going to tie off this wick at the top so that it, when we pour the wax it stays in the center. So I'm going to give myself some extra space and it's going to hold the wick in the center. That looks about right. So we'll check on the wax. We've got the thermometer on and we'll just make sure so you can see now it's completely liquefied. There's no, and it's all melted down. And now what we need to do is before we um, pour it, we need to make sure that it cools down to, uh, according to these instructions on this bag, about 125 Fahrenheit. So you're going to have to let it cool and set up. You can make your, save yourself a step and make it really easy by starting a small pour at the bottom of your candle holder. And you're just going to put a little bit in there. So you're not doing the full pour, but you just want to make sure that the metal, you're going to give something for the metal to stand in. I can do just a, a real small preliminary pour in here. And I'm going to use that and make sure it's as flat as possible and put the wick right into the bottom. And now is a good time to add your essential oil if you choose to add anything, any scent. Um, we're going to use uh, sweet orange and uh, liang liang, which is a nice and so 10 drops, two, three. Ten of the orange, and I'm going to do five of the liang liang to make it 15 in total. Uh, watch the edge so you don't pour it right out of the shell, because we're filling the deepest part first. And you're just going to pour it while centering your wick. And so these will just cool now for another 20, 30 minutes. And then you'll be able to unravel the, um, the chopstick with the wick and then trim it just so that there's about a quarter of an inch left to, um, so you're able to start burning at something like this and just leave a little bit at the end. And then you're ready to go with using your candles.